Welcome to your new instrument. We're going to start getting ourselves familiar with that instrument. Before we start, uh, let's set our embouchure open and relaxed. So we're going to say hum just until the lips touch. Ready? Hum. Now just going to take that mouthpiece. We want to set it on the face. Hum. Oh. Again, same activity. Set the embouchure, then set the mouthpiece, and just gain a smooth, consistent buzz. Hum. Oh. Set it. Make sure that it's feeling comfortable where it's at, that you're getting the fullest sound you can once more. Hum. And one last time. Hum. Let's put it onto the instrument. Uh, setting up the same sort of activity. Our goal is four counts on, four counts off, four counts on, four counts off. Uh, unless you're on horn, our target note is either a concert F or a concert B flat. Uh, for horn, our, our target note is either a concert A or a concert F. Here we go. Four counts. One, two, three. Again. Again. to um, lip bending to start building that flexibility that we'll need uh, for doing lip slurs. Um, we're going to do a half note on the pitch, bend down uh, for a half note, and then a half note back up to the pitch. Our target is to make a half step movement down, but right now if it just ends up being slightly flat, that's all right, but making sure that you're keeping a full sound and good air support throughout it. Um, and we'll go chromatically down, reminding you that the fingering sequence remains the same on all of our brass instruments. So a half step down from open on all of our brass instruments is going to second, or for trombone, conveniently just second position. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> down to second valve or second position. Two, three. <laughs> Down to first valve or third position. One and two or fourth. Two, three. To two and three or fifth position. Two, three. One and three, or fourth valve, or sixth position. Two, three. One and uh, one, two, and three, or second and fourth position, or second and fourth valve, or seventh position on trombone. Two, three. Going over now to the Broken Remington series, um, we will play it as whole notes uh, this time through. The target is making sure that we're recentering that uh, concert F when we return to it, um, or concert C if you're on, on horn uh, when you return to it, and trying again to make sure that we're paying attention to that same fingering sequence that we've had on all of our brass instruments, open to second to first to one and two to two and three to one and three, and reminder, if you're on euphonia or tuba, that's your fourth valve. 
to one, two, and three, or if you have euphonium tuba with a fourth valve, it's two and four um, within there. Here we go. Broken Remington. One, two, three. up uh, with um, our legato articulation study. We're going to do it on the first five notes of the B flat pentatonic, or pent, sorry, the uh, first five notes of the B flat pentachord, uh, so B flat up to F. Uh, using the repeats, please breathe as needed. Make sure that you're focusing on keeping the articulation consistent, regardless of whether it's a half note, a chord note, or an eighth note, and trying to let every note speak as fully as possible. Starting on B flat. One, two, three. Thank mm -hmm. you. 